Hi, my name is Christ Kennedy, and um, I'm thinking I'm going to make a basket today. So, why don't you join me? So, this is the material that I'm going to be using today. You can use all kinds of material. You can use like paper that you fold and you cut it lengthwise and you fold them along the length and you just use that to weave, or you can use some plastic or cardboard or anything that'll bend and uh, retain its is shape. So this is corrugated plastic, right? You can find these in all kinds of places. I found a bunch of these strips here, a bunch of pieces like this in a dumpster. So they're free. And you can probably go places and ask people and they'll sell it to you or give it to you. And if you know people, it's easier. If you don't, you just find what you use and you can use all kinds of materials. So cutting these isn't too bad. What you do is you take uh, an exacto knife and uh, try not to cut through your, your table. Take an exacto knife, take a ruler, and you just uh, place the ruler along the edge and cut along the thing there. Just, you really just score. You don't need to go through the whole thing, right? So you score it once, and then you go along the whole length like this. Okay. And once you've got them, oh, this one came right off. So, even if you don't, don't go through the whole thing, just bend it over and cut the other side. I'm going to cut like a bunch of them, like you need like about a hundred or so. So, um, I'll be back. So, here's my plan. Um, I measured each length, so I cut them all. I got about, uh, I cut like five strips of those boards there. I got another one extra to spare if I run out of pieces. So, I've got 35 of these strips, and they're 118 centimeters long. Okay, so my plan here is to make them six across, four along the width, and four along the height. Okay, and uh, the brim needs three, so there's three that go around the top edge there. So I'm gonna need, uh, so let me see now, that's four go around plus the extra two for the brim, that's six. I got four that go from one side to the other. Okay. So that's 10. And I got six that go from this side to the other side. That's 16. And I have 35. So that should be plenty. So that's the plan for now. Um, yeah, okay, so let's get started. So here are my tools. You got uh, these things here are just uh, for paper. You can get them at stationery stores. Just clips. These are the big ones. I suppose there's bigger, but um, these are the ones I got. So those are the ones I'm going to use. We've got a knife. This is going to be used to push some of the strips between the others, and a pair of pliers to pull when sometimes it needs pulling, and a pair of scissors to cut them. Sometimes I'll cut them into corners or wedges that make it easier. So, all right. So here's the diagram again. Um, what I'm going to show you is the brim. How the, the brim is the key to everything because it locks all the pieces together. I've never taken any weaving lessons and I just came up with this solution out of boredom. So it works. All right. So this is what happens. So the top edge here that goes around the brim okay, has three pieces wedged together. So what I've got here is a diagram of those three pieces. Okay, there's three, they're in blue here. I don't know if you can see the color, but there's three pieces in blue. And then this is the next layer down. So these three here represent the one strip that goes around the top of the brim. And this blue here represents the next strip underneath it. All right, so then the black, the black that we have here, okay, is the vertical strip going up and down. So you can see in this, the vertical strip going up and down. You can see in this diagram here, when I did my measurements, Okay, the going up and then around here is where it gets locked. So this up and around here is represented here as going up and around. Okay, so it gets locked between these two here on the outside. So then when we look at, so that's the first strip on the edge here. Then the next strip over next to it is going to be the opposite. Instead of being around on the inside of the second strip and outside the brim, going in like that, it's going to be on the outside of the second strip and inside the brim and locking like that. So these two being adjacent to each other and alternating one to the other back and forth all the way around the entire 
basket, they all hold together. And I start off at the beginning, they need to be bound together with the clips. And that's the hardest part is the beginning. So I've only got four clips. So I'm going to start with the edge on this side here. I'm going to lock these pieces together. I'm going to make this down here all the way down to this side. And then fold the bottom part and start weaving, uh, well, locking the pieces together along this edge here and that edge. Okay, then go all the way to the end. And then at the end, build the top and then lock, like zip them up together at the end. It's like a zipper at the end. So the beginning is the hardest part because they don't want to hold together and they like fight against you. It's difficult, so you need the clips. And when, once you get started, once we get past here, all this here is just systematic. We just go along with it. It just like follow the flow, that's it. And then at the end, it just, it closes like a zipper. It's great. So that's what we're gonna do. So now I'm set up, I got all my pieces here together. I've got all my tools ready, and I got the diagram right next by, you know, right, right nearby. So I don't uh, get confused or lost or anything, just follow the plan. And that's the way it's going to be. There we go. All right. So I'm going to start, and I've got these three pieces here. I've got three of them, okay? Make them about equal. I take one piece, and stick it in the middle between the two, like that. Okay. Now this piece is going to want to, like, come undone because nothing's holding it together right now. So I use the clip to clamp them together like that. So now I got one strip. Now remember we're doing the edge, the outer edge that's got four wide. So I gotta do like four pieces like this. So I take the next one, stick it between the bottom two, stick it over like that. Take another clamp and clamp it shut. And do the same thing on the other side. Stick it between the bottom two. There is shut. So at the beginning, all these pieces are not going to hold together because they don't want to. Nothing's holding them together except for the clamps. So you're like fighting with them for now. So the last piece, go from on the bottom, I bend it over, and I take the strip, the top strip, and I stick it in there. Now I got my four clamps. All right. So this is what we're looking at. We got four pieces. Two of them are on the back, and two of them are on the front. And the way they're wedged in together, Maybe you can see there's like exactly in the diagram. This one here goes through the outside and it's between these two, the front two here. And this piece here in the back goes around the back and then it's between the other two. So there's, there's one in the middle, okay? And um, this piece here is making sure that this one doesn't fall out and the other one, they all like hold together. But now without the second layer, there's nothing really actually holding them together. So what I do at this point, is I, I'm going to keep it flat on the, on the table like this, take the two that are closest to the table and pull them over, right? Okay. Then take another piece, same in the middle, just about the same piece, and now I pull it in as tight as I can. Pull the ones underneath out and the one on top in, and I do this like that. So, so just keep repeating this a few times. Pull this one down, pull this one up, pull this one down, pull this one up. And now, down and up, and down and up. All right? So now, if I had another clamp, I'd show you. But, so at this point here, what we have is this. Okay, we got eight pieces, well, ten pieces all together. These two are three strips, and I can un undo these two clamps here because now these two actually hold together. All right, so I get to undo those for now, and I can just clamp over here to make sure that nothing gets, uh, nothing falls apart. So at this point, I've got two clamps on either side. All right, and this 
if we look at the diagram, all right, if you can see that, this is this outer edge over here. It's the four side, right? So it's got four over here, and then four that go on the bottom, and four that come up at the top over here. And there's the brim, or all the go it's going to go all the way around. And these ones, there are six. So there's six of them. The next six are going along the side and the bottom, all right? So now the bottom needs to be folded. So I'm going to fold the bottom. I'll take out these clamps right now, because they don't really need to be there. I've got that one clamp at the front there, which is actually at the bottom of the, the basket there. So now I'm going to fold these so that they make the bottom corner of the side. And basically, take off the last clamp. Now I've got no more clamps actually holding anything. I'm gonna need two as I go along the edge just to keep it together and keep it from falling apart. But for now, because I haven't actually reached that stage yet, I'm just gonna use one. Okay. So here, what we might wanna do, what we do wanna do, is we're gonna start on the last, I'm starting on the outside, okay? It's the opposite of the, the last piece here. The last piece goes around the outside. This one is going to be wedged in between the two brim pieces that are stuck together by the, uh, the vertical piece that I just uh, moved. Okay, so now I pull these. Now I'm dealing, this is the side, okay? So I'm putting this piece between the two and wedging that there and moving this over here. I'm going to squeeze all this together. And to make sure it doesn't fall apart, I'm going to put a clamp on the edge over here. All right. So now this clamp is holding it together. So I don't know if you can see that, but this is actually the side piece. I just haven't bent to the side yet. All right. So now what we're looking at, the piece that I just added is this first, this is the back, the front, the front end, okay? You can see that? This is the front end over here that I did the first four. This new piece is starting over here. It's going to go down underneath, weave along with the same ones that, uh, that go down here, but because the corner, it's going to go weave between those and pop up on the other side, then lock on the other end. All right, so that's what I'm going to do right now. This is, the, uh, this is actually the hard part, okay? Because now this piece needs to be bent, all right? So I'm going to unclamp this for now. I bend, this is the corner, this is the side corner. So I bend this here, like this, all right? So now I made the side corner. Like I said, this is the hard part, because this is where the thing just really doesn't want to agree with you. So I'm going to take these two. Like at this point, it doesn't look like anything. It's just like a, a freaking mess, right? So the corner here just came apart. So, all right, I just close that again, I use another clamp, okay, all right, so I've got a clamp on the corner there, now, this here, is going to fly all over the place, all right, all right, all right, let's see that's good enough, so all right, now, So I've got two pieces, these two pieces here are going to go wrap themselves around the last piece. So I put this piece, this is the side piece here, bend it over, and this piece down, this piece up, the weaving, so it's one in, one out, it's always the same. Just Right now, the pattern hasn't started yet, all right? So it's just a little difficult to argue with the thing until it's like got an actual shape, all right? So right now it's fighting with me, all right? Because all the plastic pieces just don't want to break. So I got to use these clamps to tie them down, right? All right, so now, show you. I got, it looks like a mess. All right, so anyway, I'm going to bend this 
goes this way, it's always one way, one move this way, the other the other way. And um, all right, so I've got this extra strip here. This is way too long. I don't need it to be that long. I just need it to go around one edge. So I'm going to cut it two inches past where it needs to be, put that on the floor, and then bend this piece over. So I bent this piece over. This is at the top now. All right. This is the brim. This this is the brim here. So I'm bending this piece over, and now I'm going to lock it. Take that piece, move it aside, move that over, and I'm here. Okay. Now, so this looks like a mess, right? I mean, we got four pieces over here. Okay, these are the horizontal side pieces. All right. These four pieces right here, horizontal, go sideways. This here is the bottom, okay? These four pieces are the bottom. This piece here is the vertical side piece. It's going around this way, it goes around the bottom, and now it's gonna pop up this side and lock with this brim, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right, okay, so here we are. Now we've got the entire end, this here, this, this four pieces, four by four, that's our corner over here. That's our side, the side piece over here, all right? And this one strip going around here, okay? That's this piece here. It's going from one brim over here down through the bottom and up, and it locks at this side over here, all right? That's where we're at. So now at this point, okay, I just... Lock the next piece on here. I go in, out, in, out, in, out. I just move the, the vertical and all the other pieces go around it. Um, and then I lock it at the other side. And I do this six times for the six all the way over here. All right? So I've got the first one. Now I just follow a pattern. Do the same thing back and forth, back and forth until I get to the sixth one. Start from one side, go around to the other side. The next one I start from the other side, come around to this side because there's always some error that's introduced. So if you go symmetrically from one side to the other all the time, all the time going from left to right, left to right, to left to right, the symmetry will be thrown off. It's just, I don't know, you'd have to be a real, really good craftsman to get it right all the time. But to avoid that error, I just go left, right, right, left, right, left, and you know, back and forth, you know, one way, the other way, and back and forth like that, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna keep repeating the same process until I get to this piece over here. Once I've done this piece, then it's a matter of closing the back side and zipping the top, all right? So the last one on this side here, the second one is on the outside, so I'm gonna have to do the opposite this time. So I, I do, I go in this way, and this way, like that, okay? It's like this, it's the opposite. Whatever was woven on one pass is the opposite of the next one. So I take the, the one that's on the outside here and I bend this over. Then I close this shut and I lock it with, with my uh, catch there. And then it's just a matter of going around. So, I, I, so at this point here, I'm just going to go around, right? So I, I take the next piece over, and I pull this one as tight as I reasonably can, and I close it shut, and I take the next one over, the next one over, and I bend this one. And now we're at the bottom, the bottom of the basket. So I fold the, the vertical piece so it goes along the bottom, and then I pull this piece up, bend this one back, and I pull the, the next piece up, push this one back, then pull the next piece, and so forth. You just go around. It's a little awkward. So you just pull the, the next piece over. So you hold the, um, the horizontal one. As I'm holding it, it's horizontal now, but it's really, it's the underside, right? So like right now, these pieces are vertical and the other ones are horizontal. So I'm going, uh, I'm going around. So, right, so I hold the vertical one taut like this, okay, and make sure that the pieces are glued together, and then uh, I'm going to go 
the piece out of the way. And leave, and then make the other edge corner there, and make the corner. So I have to pull this piece down, move this piece down, bend around the corner. You gotta fight with that, right? It's plastic. It tends to want to retain its shape. So, alright, so then I made the corner. I pull the next piece up, bring this one down, pull the next piece up, push this one down, next piece up. right now are necessary to hold this one, but once I lock the next piece over, it won't be necessary anymore. So I take just a little extra, cut that off, now it's coming around the outside, okay, so it's got to bend in this way, and the piece that's on the other side is pulled away. That. I don't know if you can see that, but when you move it like this, you lock that into place and close it shut. Now this piece is holding this one. The, the next piece that I just wove in there and I just zipped is holding this other one. So this one cannot fall apart now. This one still needs to be clamped. So now my clamps have moved up from the bottom to one, one higher. All right? And now I start from this side. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go around the other way and back and forth, and I'll see you when I'm done. All right, so here's where I'm at now. And you can see it's starting to look like a basket, right? So this is the end. You can see the diagram there. We're looking at the, the back side where I started wrong, the brim there. And it goes around to this side here and done all six sides. So the only thing that, that's left is this bottom, this side here, starting from the bottom. Because if you look at it, this side here, I've only got like so many pieces, and this piece is particularly short here. You can barely see it. Uh, this piece is really short. And on this side, I got all these strips here. So these sides, these ones here, will make it and fold over. These, these strips here will be able to fold over to the other side and make the, the back end of, uh, of the basket. So I've got four pieces here, this one included, this one I'm holding here in my hand, this one here, and these three here. Uh, make the vertical bars that uh, go along the back end, and these ones here make the horizontal that go along the back end. And right now, you can see that some of these here are not really tight. There's some things that could be tightened. So I'm going to pull my pliers out, use these pliers, and uh, just turn it around this way and start pulling on pieces this way so that uh, I can tighten the whole thing and it'll hold a little bit better than, than it currently does. I'm going to do that right now. I got these pieces, I just take the pliers and I can, I want to push on the vertical pieces here when I pull and I just sort of hang on to it. It's going to want to pull back you know, and go back uh, the way it was, but at least I could try to tighten them. And tighten them all one next to each other it will result in the whole thing being a little tighter. And it's good to have pliers for this. You can do it with your hands, but why, why, why are you know, just using pliers except before? So you just pull on these, and uh, it's best if you put the thing so that's flat on the table that you're working on, and uh, just pull on these pieces there. The whole thing just comes together a little bit better. It's still not quite right, but I'm going to tighten it again before I'm done. Like it just, it wants to come apart. So that's just the way it is. So now, I'm going to turn like this, right? Now this is the bottom. I'm, I'm facing the bottom. This is the bottom. So now these pieces here need to make the side. So this actually is a little difficult. Okay. So a 
little complex, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to turn the pieces the way they need to be for everything to, uh, to get into place. And uh, all right, it's still fighting with me here. So this here, because these sides here are shorter, I want to start from this end over here where these pieces are long. And these pieces are going to bend over and uh, be part of the, the back. So now move this here, move that like that. And this brim needs to be bent. Now I've bent the brim. i got to make it straight so it connects to the other side over there. And because this piece goes underneath on the inside of the brim, I take the outer piece of the brim. There's three of them, so I take the other one and I bend this over here. I could, I could cut it because it doesn't need to be that long. Then I bend this over here. Now, like a zipper, this is like a zipper at this point because each piece I put in is going to hold the previous piece before it, right next to it. So I move. I want to argue with you. So now I turn these pieces, the horizontal pieces now, I have to bend them to get ready to uh, move the next piece. So these ones here, two of them are going in, one of them's coming out, and the brim is just going to stay like that. And now the next piece, the vertical piece coming from the bottom now, has to bend right on the corner. So I'll I'll bend it the wrong way because there's an edge. This here is the bottom. Okay? So I'm going to bend this piece in the wrong direction just to sort of score the plastic and then bend it back in the proper direction over top the horizontal piece. Now, you got to fight with these pieces, right? So bend one, bend the other. And then this one has to go on the inside. It's to go on the inside here. And the brim. Because the last one, this piece here, the last the vertical piece here, this one on the first edge, popped up from the inside. I got that one. So this one goes over there, this one goes over there, and this one and this is the inside here. It goes around like you weave in, you weave out, you weave in, you weave out. Okay, sorry. Now this piece here, this vertical piece here, winds up being on the outside of the brim. So I take the inner piece and I wedge that piece between the inner brim. All right? Now the next piece winds up because it has to. It's one, it alternates in and out, in and out. So it starts from the inside and winds up being on the outside. Look at that. So I cut it to the length that I need. I take the outside brim piece, I bend it back, and then I fold this over top of it. And now it's like a zipper. All right? So now this one here, alternating with that uh, diagram I showed you earlier. This first one here holds the first two outer pieces of the brim, and this second one here holds the first two inner pieces of the brim. So the vertical pieces are trapped in, out, in, out, in, out, between you know, the three pieces of, of the brim. So that's how that just uh, weaves together like that. So, now the next piece over, do the same thing. Let's turn this one vertically. Comes out like that. Make sure it bends at the right spot. This. Uh, this piece out of the way. Open up 
brim on the other side. Stick this piece here and pull the brim shut. I've only got one piece left. So this is the basket the way it looks like. Okay? There's only one, one piece left over here. Okay, this is the last one. So what I'm going to do here is the same thing. It's just at the end, I'm going to take all those extra pieces and using the knife and the pliers, I'm going to make sure all those pieces pull together. So I'm just going to make sure this one extends past. Pull this piece in. Oh, okay. and it wants to fight. It's always a problem. It's all right. So now, I'm gonna... so I took the uh, the shorter wedge, shorter piece on the horizontal side there. The whole shorter horizontal piece come from the other side. I stuck it underneath the longer horizontal piece, and the longer horizontal piece is going to wind up getting wedged in there. So now I've got two the two ends that go around are on top of each other. I don't know if you can see that, but there's two pieces here. There's these two here. There's one piece goes here, it's underneath this one here, and this one goes over top of it, and it's gonna wind up getting stuffed in here, all right? So now I take the vertical piece, and then I move it over here. I just bend it over top there. That. And this piece. So the longer piece I'm sticking inside. The shorter piece comes on over top. And those two pieces are on top of each other. Right. It's really difficult to see what I'm doing, I imagine. But now I'm going to take this piece. Way bit under there. I've got three coming around this way and three coming around that way. And the last piece comes from the inside and goes out the top, the outside. So that means to make sure this piece doesn't fall off, the outer piece of the brim needs to wedge in the next one and hold this piece together. So I'm going to keep the longest of this side, just one of them, Cut the other two, because I only need three all around. And the one that needs to be longest, or the longest one, is the one that is going to hold. So now I've got, of the three brim pieces, I'm only keeping one on this side here. Alright. Hold this tight. Okay. And then on this side, I need two. So, the two, the one that's on the inside is longest, and I can cut one of these two, and I'll cut the shortest one. So I cut the shortest one over here. Right. So now I've got the brim here, all right? So I'm gonna take 
this drum piece here and so the middle piece needs only be long enough to go around the whole basket this piece. Ah, so you can probably end up figure out what the hell I just did. But I just dealt with the grim. So now I'm gonna pull this together. This probably would have been better if I had um, made it one. Either put five along the side instead of six, or three along the ends, the ends instead of four, and um, given myself more uh, flexibility in terms of you know, longer pieces to go around. Probably would have been a little bit easier. But oh, here I am. So now I've got this piece here. I give myself like an extra 20 centimeters or so, which I figure would be plenty. But it appears to be a little tight. So now, I'm gonna make this, make this fit. So I'm gonna bend this on the front here. Alright. So the third piece that went in there, I'm pulling a little bit. A little tighter. This piece is just the right length, which is, is just a little too long, so I'm going to cut this one a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, take this piece. It's got to be a good one. So this is too long. All right. So and this. Stick that over there. This is a lot of fun. Um, well, it's an exercise in frustration when you just get started. I made a few of these, so it's not too bad. So, um, this one here. So, initially, when I started making these, the first one took me like a week. I to coax it. I started working with newspaper, so I had nothing. I had like no resources at all, and uh, just nothing but old newspaper. So that's what I was using. And to use newspaper, what you do is you cut it into strips, then you fold the strips lengthwise so they don't fall apart on you. And then you just weave. It's essentially the same thing, except it's paper. They're not very solid, but you can make anything that's you know, square. Sometimes you need the So you probably didn't see a thing I just did, but you know, magically I end up with a basket. So just a bit. I'm not fighting with it. So 
it tells me I'm going to edit this tape. Cut a uh, point there, so I can just shove it in there a little easier. Once it's in, I just tug on it. It's a little loose to my taste. So I'm gonna pull on that. That's my boss. It would have been better if I had uh, given myself more more leeway or more flexibility in a way. Making sure I had like maybe 20, 30 centimeters extra beyond the 10 that I measured. My calculations told me that I'd have about like 10 centimeters extra. But sometimes you want to make sure you got like 30 centimeters extra. And as we work in centimeters. So um, that's my basket. Tighten these things here. So you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but this here piece is not quite straight, right? So I'm going to pull on that and I'll make it a little better. Prizes, but um, it's a basket. So, if you're ever stuck in the woods and you need a basket, all you need is some of this plastic, all right? Good work table and 
YouTube for this video. And you may be able to pick yourself some fruits. Real handy. Anyway, that's my basket. Thanks.